is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first top five, I think. we This may be another top five. I, I can't remember how many top fives we've done so far. But coming into the end of the year, 2021, we are diving into a bunch of top tens, a bunch of top fives as we approach the end of the year, man. I want to do the top ten worst and best of WWE action figures, the top ten worst and best of AEW action figures. I want to cover some other things as well. And maybe you guys have some cool video ideas down for me down below, man. But today, I wanted to start off with my top five figures that surprised me the most this year. And this is going to be WWE figures. If you guys would like to see the top five AEW figures that surprised me this year, let me know down in the comment section below. But I am a guy who loves analytics. I love statistics. I love sports. I love, you know, comparisons and rankings and ratings and all these different things. So we're going to do that today, man. We're going to count down my top five WWE figures that shocked me the most this year. And basically the criteria for this is going to be figures that I didn't expect much out of, but that totally totally shocked me once I got it in hand that it kind of blew me away a little bit by the release of the figure compared to what I initially thought when we saw the render images, the proto images, all those things. Now as you guys can see the figures that I have featured right here are not on my top five but I did want to give them an honorable mention. We do have Elite 91 Mia Yim. That figure was fantastic or reckoning I guess I should say but that figure was really good. I love the hooded accessory. I thought the figure felt great in the hand. It had the double joint. It's just a really solid football figure man. I really appreciated that one. The Elite 88 Riddle was another great Great one. I love the accessories. I do have two of that. I think putting that first basic head sculpt on there makes it look really great. I love the colorways. It just flows really nice. Poses really well. And while I came in, I didn't really appreciate the Matt Riddle formula. But I think with the double jointed arms, giving him the slightly bigger arms, it really like formulates that figure nicely. And I can appreciate that. I wanted to give it an honorable mention. And last but not least is the Ultimate Edition Kane. I did not expect it to be as good as it is. It does have the elbow featured there without the paint, of course. But I think they are trying to get that a running change once it gets to retail. Maybe not. We'll have to see. But I wanted to include Ultimate Edition Kane. I thought it was a great figure that shocked me. I, I knew it would be solid, but it was a little bit better than that, and it impressed me. But now that all that is done, man, let's dive into my top five WWE action figures that shocked me this year. Coming in at number five, man, we have the Ultimate Edition Undertaker figure. Was really impressed with this thing once I got it in hand. Everyone knows the synonymous Mattel leaked photos or proto images where it showed the head sculpt and it looked like Michael Jackson. This figure looked like Ultimate Edition Michael Jackson. Everyone was throwing it under the bus and sh totally shishing on it. But once I got it in hand, they totally fixed it and it looks great. I was really impressed with it. I like the kind of formality they got going with the chesticles and the different things going on right there with the chest. It just feels a lot better in hand, man. It's got a lot of greatness going on with it. It is kind of like plain Jane, but I like the girth of the arms. I love that we're getting this glove mold here on the hands. It's just really nice, man. I love this Undertaker figure. It really brought it to life for me here, and it was a shocker for me. It totally shocked me. Did not expect it to be this good in the hand, but it totally was, and that's why I had to put it at my number five spot. I thought it was great. Just getting away from that Ultimate Edition Michael Jackson head sculpt really did a ton for me. Even did a whole separate video on it, so Ultimate edition undertaker comes in at the number five spot coming in at the number four spot we have the wwe elite series 89 kim k figure I'm just kidding, it is Nia Jax, but the head sculpt does remind me of Kim K. Now you guys know that I was never really a Nia Jax fan. I drug her on the channel multiple times, but this figure is very impressive. I like the sculpt detail that we got going on on her upper, the upper arms and like the stitching pattern that we have going on looks really great. I love that they have this like really cool cuff mold going on on the arms. A lot of us thought these were gonna be single jointed arms, right? We thought they were gonna be single jointed arms. It turns out they are a double joint and I love the way that's hidden there. I think the figure looks really good and it has improved the only thing that didn't make it higher was the single jointed knees that really uh that kind of shocked me in a negative way to be honest with you but overall the Nia Jax figure was impressive to me I thought it was a great release here and it, it it totally shocked me I'm not a Nia Jax fan per se whatsoever but this figure did shock me I did not expect it to be as good as it is and it is my favorite Nia Jax figure say what you will about that doesn't really mean a whole lot but it did shock me and that shock factor is what this countdown's all about. This Nia Jax figure did shock me. Let me know if you guys feel the same about it, and tell me if you guys were shocked by this figure as much as I was. I feel like the whole community kind of was. Like, I know the pe a lot of people skipped over it because they thought it was completely skippable, and now that she's gone from the company, probably so, but the double jointed arms was a nice touch, and this figure was much improved from her last. 
in at my number three spot is the ringside exclusive ECW Cactus Jack. Now, you're probably wondering, how's this figure that shocking? How did this figure shock you, MDT? Well, I gotta say, man, it just, I, I just didn't expect it to be very much, right? I felt like it would come out and be a regular ass Cactus Jack figure. It wouldn't be too impressive, but I was really impressed by the way it felt in the hand. If you guys own this figure, if you pose it around, it poses around way easier than you would expect. You would expect the legs to be really stiff. You'd expect them to be really, really gritty and not get you that great articulation that you like. You want it to be as smooth as butter, but usually when you have a guy with the ratchet joints, it's really rickety, right? It's like, it feels like it's going to snap in your hands. It feels like a dusty roads. feels like it's going to be absolute trash, but this ECW Cactus Jack from Ringside Exclusives, or Ringside Collectibles, I should say, really blew me away. I thought it was fantastic. You can't grab it right now. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. I feel like you may be able to grab every figure on this list from Ringside Collectibles using promo code MD Toys. But man, this figure really shocked me. I really like the head sculpt a lot. I dig the classic ECW shirt that we got. Love the cowboy boots mold that we got going on and the colorway and stuff. It just really shocked me. Didn't expect to be impressed by it, but it totally did once I had it out of the packaging. So that is what the countdown's about, man. But ECW Jack comes in right here. Coming in at number two is the Elite Series 86 Carmella from the SummerSlam Wave. This figure really genuinely shocked me, man. You know, I'm not a huge Carmella fan. All that stuff, you know, similar to the Nia Jax situation, right? Wasn't really feeling it. But uh, when I saw that Carmella was in this wave, I was like, eh, you know, it is what it is. I thought the Fan Central figure was really, really good that we got before with the money the money attire. But that figure was absolute dog shish. Like, the, the legs were really stiff. The arms were really stiff. It had the weak hands, and it, it just was not good, man. The, the ankles were really loose. I think I even, when I reviewed this figure, I think I chucked that one out into my yard, and I left it for dead, right? So this figure was a really nice breath of fresh air for me, and it shocked me. I didn't expect to like it nearly as much as I do. I have two of them right here, one, the, you know, showing off the cloth pants they come with. I love the gear. The black and pink is sick AF, really MDT live feel to it. It's a really great women's figure. I like the head sculpt. I like the hair mold. I love the... Uh, the, like the long black socks tights that you got going. I love that they gave us like the smooth uh, lower legs there with the good articulation, double jointed knees. It just feels really good. It poses really well. And I love the uh, the sneakers kind of deal right there. I'm a sneaker head, so I love that you have, you know, your, I want to say she wore like Jordan 14s or something at this event. These are not, they don't look anything like Jordan 14s. However, you know, copyright issues and stuff like that. However, just was really blown away by the figure. It feels really good in the hand and it it's not quite the right Ronda Rousey level of awesomeness as far as, you know, posability goes. However, this figure really, really shocked me and it feels really good in the hand just like the Ultimate Edition Rousey. So, for those reasons, Carmella comes in at number two and I thought it was really, really good. Coming in at the number one spot, man, it is going to be none other than Macho Man Randy Savage, the Ultimate Edition. Now, I totally forgot we got this figure this year. It feels like it was released last year. That's how long it's been. I feel like this year flew by, but that also feels like 10 years ago. So, at the same time, man, this Macho Man figure really blew me away. Uh, I thought for sure this would be just trash, honestly. Like, I was not looking forward to this Ultimate Edition release whatsoever. And then getting it in hand, I love the white jacket with the tassels. Uh, I, I, I love Macho Man. Like, I really do. I love going back and watching his work and just checking him out. And I've always loved Macho Man and just the aura that is Macho Man and his, his charisma and all these different things. But at the same time, man, when we saw this figure, I was not impressed with it. I wasn't a big fan of the gear. I thought it was a really weak release. And then getting the figure in hand, it just feels so good in the hand, man. If you own this figure, you know what I'm talking about. I like how it has, like, the shirt molded over the torso and just that ability they went with, like, the tassels on the shoulders. I know you can't can't really see it here with the jacket on there but with the jacket and the mobility uh excellent white jacket and I love the way the neon colors really pop off the figure as well. It's just a really refreshing figure. Like, I did not expect one thing from this thing. And, it, like, I expected one set of things from this figure. And then after I got it out of the packaging, it was like a completely new deal there. And that totally changed my perspective on the figure, man. So that was really refreshing. I loved it. It was excellent. And I'd say this figure probably shocked me the most out of all the figures this year. Again, going back, I thought other figures would jump it. I knew the Carmelo would be on the
on the list. I knew the Cactus Jack would be here, Nia Jax, but going back, I totally forgot how much I under, like, under, uh, I don't know, like, underappreciated this figure once I saw the render images and stuff like that. Thought it was kind of plain Jane, but after, you know, taking it out, posing it around, I think Macho Man was the most surprising figure of the year, at least to MDT. Now, down in the comment section below, man, I gotta know what your top five most shocking WWE figures were this year for you. Again, it's, it's based on you viewing a figure one way and then getting it in hand and being like, oh, shish, man. This figure is the, the real deal. This is actually a good-ass figure. So, let me know if you guys can rank it down in there. Maybe you can just give me your top three. Maybe just give me your most shocking figure or give me a figure that you got this year that you weren't, maybe, that maybe you, you kind of underutilized. Maybe you thought it wouldn't be as good as it is and then you got it in hand and we're totally blown away. But let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man. Again, top tens, top fives coming soon to the channel as we approach the end of the year. I think my AEW on Match Series 2 is coming finally, so we'll get those reviews up. We'll get some more stuff in here and we can uh, finally count down our top tens and top fives of the year. Worst, best, all the different things, man. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and don't cross the line like I did when I underrated this macho man.